All right, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Dominic, and this is the channel where, you guessed it, I talk about some of the most popular short stories of all time. And this video is going to be about a story by Raymond Carver. Now, you may remember that I did a video about his story, Cathedral, a little while back. Well, in this video, I'm going to talk about his story, what we talk about when we talk about love. This is a very interesting philosophical short story, and I want to talk a little bit about it. So I will first give a little summary of the story, and then we'll get into some discussion points. So basically, this story is about two couples at an apartment drinking gin at the kitchen table. And they're just talking normally, but the conversation soon steers toward love. And I'll just name the four characters. There is Mel, the cardiologist, and he kind of directs the conversation to love, which is interesting because he's a cardiologist, so he's a heart specialist, but he also has many questions about what love really is. So there's maybe a little bit of irony for you. There's Mel, there's his wife, Teresa, who they call Terry. And then there is the narrator of the story. His name is Nick and his wife is Laura. And they are all sitting at this kitchen table talking about love. And Mel, as I already said, kind of initiates this conversation. He wants to know what real love is. And his wife, or his his wife, his current wife is actually his second wife. And that's significant in the story because it kind of, it influences his view of what love really is. But his current wife, Terry, at the table brings up the fact that the previous relationship that she was in, she believes that the guy was very much in love with her. And he, she says that he used to, he was kind of abusive. He used to drag her around the house and calling her bad name, but bad names, but he would say that he loved her. And he, she is convinced that he really did love her. But Mel is saying, no, that that wasn't true love. That's, he didn't actually love you. And he was actually a crazy man. So this kind of, is the conversation starter for a while and Nick and Lori don't really give don't really have a strong opinion on the matter but it's interesting because Nick and Lori and I already mentioned Nick is the narrator they are kind of seen as the couple that is the most in love that they are kind of in the honeymoon stage of their marriage you could say and they're very affectionate with one another, but they don't really have anything to say when it comes to like what love really is. But at one point in the story, Mel tells a story that he thinks demonstrates what true real love is. So as a cardiologist, he's often on call and he has to, he has to appear at very tragic events and help save people's lives basically. Well, he would he was called to a car accident once and it was a car accident between a young kid and a very elderly couple. And the el and the kid died immediately after the accident and the elderly couple survived but they were in very critical condition and they were taken back to the hospital hospital and bandaged all up and the doctors didn't think they were going to make it at first, but they actually pulled through and by some grace, they were, they survived. However, the, the husband was very depressed in the hospital, not because he was all beaten up and he had all these injuries, but because he he was so bandaged and so strapped into his bed that he couldn't turn his head to see his wife. And Mel sees this as 
true love is he sees this elderly couple who have been with each other for many, many years. And despite their age, they have not grown in any dislike toward one another. They've actually grown in love. And the, the man still loves to look at his wife. Now, keep in mind throughout this story, the drinks are flowing. Mel is kind of dominating the conversation throughout the whole story. And he's becoming a little bit of drunk but he's still like wanting to be philosophical. At one point near the end, he wants to call his kids because I don't know, he's drunk and he's starting to feel deep emotions, but his wife encourages him not to call his kids because his ex-wife might answer the phone and she knows that that will upset him. So he decides not to call his kids and the two couples also are intending to go out to dinner once they're done drinking the gin, but they never end up going to the dinner. And I think that's symbolic of something deeper, which we'll talk about very soon. But let's first talk about the character Mel. I think Mel is a very interesting character. And like I said, he kind of dominates the conversation throughout the story but he has a lot of interesting things to say. So at one point he's talking about if he could come back as another person in another life, he'd like to be a medieval knight. And he says that he would like to be a knight because they were pretty safe wearing all that armor. I'm, I'm quoting him right now. It was all right being a knight until gun gunpowder and muskets and pistols came along. So he admires the knights because they were protectors and they were also very safe themselves being in that armor. But the narrator, Nick, responds and says that sometimes the knights would actually have heart attacks because they would get too hot in their armor. So that's... It's an interesting conversation right there because we know things, some things about Mel. We know that he's on his second marriage. We know from the end of the story that he has a lot of resentment and hatred toward his first wife and that there's, there's a lot of pain there. And this certainly influences his view on what love really is. But there's a connection between the fact that he likes the knight um, because the knight is safe, safe in that armor. He subconsciously or consciously wishes he could have been protected by the pain that he's felt in his life. But it's an interesting response by the narrator, Nick, because he says that all that armor can also cause harm as well. So love is this tricky thing where you really can't protect yourself from the, the dangers of love, the pain that will come as a result of love in mo most cases. A lot of people try to protect themselves from love and so they, they promise themselves that they will never fall in love again. But we see that 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 can't last and ultimately our hearts want to give ourselves to other people and and so we can't hold on to that that conviction that oh we'll never be able to love again we will never let ourselves love now let's go back to talking about how the couple wants to go to dinner but they never actually stop drinking gin and go to this restaurant that they're talking about throughout the night. So I wanna read this quote from Mel. He says, let's drink this cheap gin the hell up, then we're going to dinner, right? Terry and I know a new place. That's we'll, where we'll go, to this new place we know about. But we're not going until we fin finish up this cut rate lousy gin. And then Terry says, we haven't actually eaten there yet, but it looks good from the outside, you know. So I think that's symbolic of true love because 
we have this these two couples talking about what true love is, but they're not really talking about the sacrifices that that true love might require. And so they're they don't really show a willingness to actually go into what true love is to actually experience true love. They're kind of observing true love from the outside. Oh, I know this elderly couple that really demonstrated what true love really is. But the follow-up question question isn't asked, which would be how would a couple like us actually experience a deep love like that elderly couple has? So like, there's definitely a connection there. There's definitely a symbolism here. They are talking about dinner, but they don't actually make the move to go to the dinner. They're talking about true love, but they don't actually make the move to live in true love, to love each other deeply. At least from what we can gather from the story, they haven't made that move. We don't know the end of their stories individually. Another thing I'll mention is that Mel is kind of the dominator of this conversation, this entire story, as I've said. And he seems to be the most wounded when it comes to love. He's had the most negative experiences, perhaps. That being said, he seems to have the most mature understanding of what love is. And he... he like he knows that love doesn't display itself by wanting to kill the other person. So when his wife Terry says that she thinks that her previous boyfriend loved her, he responds that that's not the case because he would have killed us. So he seems to have this kind of understanding that love is not just a feeling and it's deeper, it's closer to to a choice right? Because he's reflective on the fact that he felt like he loved his first wife when they were married. And now he feels like he loves his current wife. And he's honest with himself and says that, hey, if if something would have would happen to me or my wife, one or the other might get married in the future, and they would be in love with that person. So he's starting to put the pieces together and start to, and starting to understand that love is deeper than just a feeling. And that's interesting because Nick and Laura is um are, are like the characters in the story that are supposed to represent what real love is. But they are on the honeymoon stage of their marriage, even though it's it's I think they've been married for like over a year, but they're still kind of in that romantic phase. And so the question could be asked, like, are they truly in love? Are they just experiencing a kind of high right now? And um, are they going to have to mature in their love in order to sustain it? So that's basically what I have to say for this story, just some kind of like thoughts that are on my brain and maybe someone will, will have something to say about them. And if you do, please leave a comment below. But thank you for watching. I'll put the link to where you can read this story, what we talk about when we talk about love in the description of this video. Thank you. Have a great day.